Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here. And today we're doing a little palette remix using my Enchanted Autumn collaboration palette with Fantasy Cosmetica and a few of my other favorites from the brand. I also want to mention that Jordan, the owner of Fantasy Cosmetica, did a really cool palette remix using Enchanted Autumn and the Cradled in Ice palette that's over on the Fantasy Cosmetica Instagram. I'm going to link that. Definitely check it out. It turned out so beautifully. For my video today, I'm going to be remixing Enchanted Autumn with the Fighter, Bard, and Druid palettes. So I'm just gathering my palette remix supplies here. I have an empty palette to store any extra shadows that are getting shuffled around. And I also have this really cool magnet. Has a little handle on top, so it makes it super easy to remove the magnetic shadows. You do need a magnet that's a little bit stronger than what you might find normally on your refrigerator. The one I have here has a 16 pound pull, so I'll link the one that I use, but any stronger magnet will do. I just really like this one for my palette purposes because it has that little handle holder on top. And I'm just gonna briefly show you on screen here how I use that magnet to remove the shadow. It's super simple once you get the feel for it. My plan for the palettes today is to use Enchanted Autumn as a base, and then I'm gonna use that base color story to create a more neutral take on the Enchanted Autumn color story. And then I'm also going to do a brighter, more color forward take because Enchanted Autumn was designed to be in that little gray area between a neutral and a colorful palette. This really lends itself to remixes in this way. So I'm gonna be pulling a lot of my bright shades from this Bard palette and also Druid is more colorful than it seems at first glance. So I'm going to use Druid and Bard for my colorful take. And I'm mostly going to focus on the Fighter palette for my more neutral version of Enchanted Autumn. I'm also adding a little side quest to this palette remix video where I'm going to compare some shades that look kind of similar in some of these palettes. Obviously, there aren't any direct dupes. Jordan and I took great care to make sure that wouldn't be the case, that there wouldn't be any repetitive shades in the eyeshadow family of Fantasy Cosmetica. But I thought it might be helpful for you to see some shades that may appear similar, like the grays or the golds or the purples, things like that. I'll swatch them side by side so that you can see the nuances and the differences. And that's really part of why I think a lot of these remixes work so well. All right, let's get into this palette build now. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the bottom row of shadows from Enchanted Autumn. Those are definitely the more color forward shades. So I'm leaving two thirds of the palette intact. I'm just going to replace that bottom row with the jewel tone colors. And before I select my colors, I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison here because we have some grays and then this yellowy gold matte and a shimmery purple that are seemingly similar in these two palettes between Enchanted Autumn and Fighter. So I wanted you to see that even though in the pan you see, you know, this is a gray shadow, there's a total difference. I mean, the grays in Enchanted Autumn are practically purple, whereas the Fighter ones are very, very neutral, kind of classic grays. And then the yellow matte shade is very, a lot brighter in Fighter. Well, that was a lot more fun to say than I thought it was going to be. The yellow is brighter in Fighter, and then the golden matte shade from Enchanted Autumn is a lot more brown. The silver is really, really bright and foily in Enchanted Autumn. It's more of a satin finish type of metallic comparatively in Fighter. 
And then the purple shade from Enchanted Autumn has a load more pink and it's definitely just a little bit deeper. You can see that the fighter one has a lot of gold. The Enchanted Autumn one is really brighter and pinkier in comparison. Ultimately, they're all bringing something a little bit different to the table, but they end up going together really well and coordinating into a cohesive color story really well. So now that I have my colorful shades removed, I'm going to go select four shades from Fighter, and my thought process is to really keep those side-by-side six-pan color stories intact in a way. That's how we designed the palette to be easily useful as a six pan if you split down the middle. So I'm using the existing shades to help direct what order I put the new remix shades in. So keeping it a bit warmer, more toasty orangey neutrals on the more golden side of Enchanted Autumn. And then the dustier side, I'm going to go for a little bit more dusty rose romantic type of neutrals. It's so interesting to me how four of the shades being changed instantly transformed this palette into being so neutral forward suddenly because that middle row of shadows is designed to be like a flex set of shadows. They're not quite traditional neutrals, but they're definitely not quite colorful either. They're very much in the middle, so they are susceptible to influence. So if you put brighter colors with them, then they blend into a more colorful color scheme and you can see the opposite in action here with these very neutral little six pan palettes that are designed it still works well together as a 12 but I love the idea of curating little palettes within palettes it's almost like a fun little secret and I think it also makes a palette more approachable and user friendly to a wider variety of people and I just always think that's a good thing. So now I'm going to show you the new version of my palette, Swatched, the neutral version of Enchanted Autumn. I replaced Dogwood with Warrior. I replaced Sagittarius with Fervor. In the place of Longleaf Pine, you have Marshall from the Fighter Palette. And then in place of Emerald, there is Victory. So a super simple swap, and I feel like it really just changes the whole vibe of this palette. If you are somebody who maybe wants to travel with a neutral palette, or you just are like me and you feel inspired by remixing your existing color stories, and you're feeling like you're in a neutral fall era, then I think this is a great interesting, really beautiful and well-balanced neutral palette that could appeal even to somebody who is more drawn to color because it's not your standard same old set of neutrals that we all probably have 10 times over at least. All right, so I've reset my Enchanted Autumn palette back to status quo and now I'm going to do a remix to make this same color story more bright and color forward instead of taking it way down into neutral territory like the last palette. So of course, got to start somewhere. First thing to do is remove some of the shadows. I'm now going to actually replace half of the Enchanted Autumn palette. I'm approaching this palette remix with a really different tactic in mind. I'm going to use shadows that are actually based on the existing color story, but just a brighter version of that color. So for example, Luna is a little shifty, duochrome has a little bit of a green edge to it. So I'm going to replace that with a more brightly colored green duochrome and there's already a matte golden type of shade so I'm gonna select this much brighter 
more sunshiny type of orange metallic to replace it, but it's still in the same spirit of the existing shadow. I'm using a bit of a different idea to replace Scorpio because I'm drawing from the shadow next to it. Dusk has that rosy pinky tone, so I'm gonna add a really bright colorful pink next to it to draw out a little bit more of the color from that dusk shade. And then I'm going to use a lot of the shadows from the Druid palette. Just, I love it so much. If you know me, you know this has been one of my favorite palettes for a really, really long time. I'm going to use the shade Balance from the Druid palette to replace Luna. This brings a lot more bright, colorful edge to a shifty duochrome shimmer shadow being there. And then Dogwood is being replaced with old growth. This is actually maybe a bit of a controversial choice if I'm making this palette more colorful because I do think that ultimately old growth is less bright and colorful than dogwood, but I was just going with what I thought would actually end up making good looks and a well-rounded palette. So maybe I didn't quite stick to my replacement theory there with that one shadow, but I do think that in general, that switch does lend to the overall color story. I'm going to show you the replacement shades swatched side by side with the colors that they are being subbed in for. That way you can see how much more colorful overall this shift of six shadows is. Say that 10 times fast. Aside from the Scorpio shade swap, you can see that the integrity of the color story is still really retained with these new replacement shadows for the more colorful remix. And I really like the way that these all look together as well. You could see a mega palette or something with these shades inside. But the overall look of this more colorful Enchanted Autumn version is exactly what I envisioned. It still works with the two six pan palettes inside as well. This more bright pinky purple side and then a much bolder version of the murky green six pan palette. I'm so happy with the way this colorful remix turned out. This is so beautiful to me and I was almost second guessing myself when I started swatching this more colorful remix version like maybe should I have made Enchanted Autumn more colorful like did I miss the boat because I love this and I feel so inspired by this but truly I think this is a testament to how well Enchanted Autumn plays with others and mixes with the entire Fantasy Cosmetica existing line, but certainly you could do all sorts of remixes across whatever single shadows or even palettes that you have that you can take apart like I did with these. I would love to hear what you think about these palette remixes, which one was your favorite, the more neutral, the more colorful, and do you want to see more videos like this? Do you want to see the next one to be less about the process and more with looks from the remixes? I always want to know what is going to be most helpful to you and what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all of your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video. And I love your face. Bye. Oh, 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 oh